Hello everyone tuning in and welcome to another general reading. Thanks so much for watching, comment, and subscribing, supporting. Guys, if you want to book a personal reading, okay, please follow the description box below and we'll get you appointed ASAP. This is going to be a general reading for the Divine Masculine. Okay, I want to see his headspace. I want to see what we need to know. Past, present, future, advice, okay? Just a layout of what's been happening. Whatever spirit wants us to know about the Divine Masculine's current energy is what we want to know. Okay, and this is what we are going to do the reading on. Guys, the cards are pre-shuffled. Let's go ahead and give them three more. All right, let's see what we got for the Divine Masculine, shall we? The Tower card. Okay, so trauma, for sure. Out of the blue catastrophes, out of the blue breakups, out of the blue knowledge of things that happened and led up to this breakup, led up to even more than what could, it may not even just be a breakup, it could be foundation in your own house with your own family and friends your your spouse your your girlfriend boyfriend it could be multiple things here but um out of the blue could you know a catastrophe okay catastrophe is happening right now with the divine masculine and um so catastrophe is happening right now with the divine masculine obviously probably if he's with a karmic it's probably with her there's a breakup or that there's going to be a revelation something that they understand even from before when they jumped out of this tower as if you can tell this tower is um them submitting being submissive to the to the downfall almost like if a sacrifice was made just agreeing to agree that this is no longer working it's to that point or you know just one person could have definitely been the orchestrator here in something that ended in this catastrophe. Either way, both will come back with some sort of new revelation about who they are, um, each other, and what's been happening and going on. So that's good. The divine masculine is being awakened here. Okay, and something is coming to an end. What else do we have? The Three of Cups, some sort of celebration, some relief, some truth, some honesty after this. So that's a great bounce back here. All right, very good. I, I, I like that a lot. Um, so the Divine Masculine is going to be bouncing back um, with friends, okay, or the Divine Feminine, whoever's watching, okay, with friends, truth and honesty, opening up and passion and love, happiness, okay, letting go. Um, this could also signify that the divine masculine or a woman could go out and, you know, start doing things, but not in a, in a bad way, but in a, in a relieving way, in a way that they can, if they become single or if they just feel like they're finally free, they go out, they have fine, they mingle, they go on a date, they have a nice little night, something carefree. It could be, you know, um, third party energy if they're still in a relationship with this person or they just go and kind of let loose and let go. But mostly this three of cups means that they they um, retreat towards family. They retreat towards love and happiness with people who may not even be best friends or people that are just good company to keep. Okay. Um, the divine masculine could be going and stepping out with other women as well. But then again, it could or may or may not be stepping out. But he's going to have some fun and he bounced back. Okay. All right. Ten of Cups. So he found somebody that he wants to be with. He found love. He found something that makes him happy. He understood why, you know, this was kind of like that way. You know, why it wasn't so sunny, so blue, and so so rainbow. You know, he got out after this revelation. It's just been it's just been good for him. It's been good to know. It's been good to know people. It's been good to kind of be free and let go and you know, let go and let God, it was, it's good for him to love again. Okay. He's got these harmony, harmonious relationships now ever since he let go of that one toxic one. Since he realized why relationships he was in was so toxic, he repaired relationships with his friends and his family ever since, you know, him and the karmic kind of broke up. Okay. After he got to see something and understand a revelation is life impacting. Okay, what else do we have for the Divine Masculine? The Two of Pentacles. So we have at the bottom of the deck the Four of Pentacles. So falling into security, um, grounding, um, wealth, 
um, smarts, okay? I want to say that he's grounded, okay? I want to say that this man is someone who can't be swindled or bargained or negotiated with here when it comes to something that he ultimately wants, especially after this catastrophe. There is someone that he wants to be able to bring into his life. He, be, he may want to be able to, but I think mostly this means that he's good with juggling everything that he's got going on right now from whatever baggage this has led. And maybe there's two people in his life, three people. But I, I really think that this means that he's juggling life and, and, and success. His life, the love that he wants, the love that he desires in himself ultimately and his friends and family ultimately and work and being grounded and being stable. I think he really likes being in this position. So a lot of us could be hearing from the divine masculine. And if we're not, a lot of us could be, um, and even if we are, we could still not apply to this. A lot of us are seeing um, some sort of maturity in the divine masculine, a newfound love, okay? I think this is something that's going to be happening pretty soon with this tower card. And then you'll get to see him making wise decisions, speaking more like an adult, okay, understanding more like adult things, okay. Um, he'll be dis he'll be loving life where he'll get to um, make the decisions, okay, and his decisions will lead him to like always doing well, okay. So he's in a good place. He's about to be in a good place, okay. He's about to be in a good place. Let's see why this tower card is here for the divine masculine. Okay, the tower card for the two of wands because he was never he was never a hundred percent focused on this relationship number one. He was always worried or focused or thinking about something that was gonna actually lead him to success. This one's had success, but now he needs to go find some more, find another elsewhere, okay? Because he's still looking for his journey. He's still looking. And because he was looking, because he may have been stepping out or what have you, this ultimate, this happened, okay? Uh, fire energy, to, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There was a passion and a, de and a determination to seek elsewhere, okay? So this was a newfound spark, and this led to this catastrophe here, okay? And it could have been such a catastrophe because they didn't expect it to end like that, okay, or he didn't expect it to end like that or, you know, finally see something out of all of those other times that it kept going and going. But that's what led up to that was some newfound passion and drive and in love as we see the three of cups coming next and the king of cups at the bottom of the deck. There's just finally an awakening here of knowing that there's something else out there for him. So. You know, this Aries Leo Sagittarius definitely led to this, you know, to this, um, this catastrophe, this breakup, okay, this new life here. Let's clarify this Three of Cups for the Divine Masculine. Three of Cups for the Divine Masculine. One second. Let's get something straight to the points there. Why is the Three of Cups here for the Divine Masculine? Why is the Three of Cups here for the Divine Masculine? Okay. This Five of Wands. There's an, a fire energy or a fire sign. If he's a fire sign, if the karmic is a fire sign, there's a fire energy here that's trying to suppress the emotions of the Divine Masculine from keeping him to move forward. But I don't think he realizes or that the karmic realizes or the negative forces trying to go and work against the Twin Flame journey realize that if anything was lacking, if anything was missing, was this passion and drive to understand why you should leave in the first place. Remember, the Two of Wands led to that disaster. Not a fire sign did, okay? Because it's more than people. It's 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 divine, okay? <clears throat> so it's forces working together. Do you understand? For the negative and for the good, okay? But and for the positive. But now you know also to 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 get you out or to get you focused on love with that King of Cups. Follow me. You know this card is all about cultural differences. It's petty differences, cultural diversity, wanting to be better. Oh, I'm better at this. I'm better at singing. I'm better at dancing. I'm better at talking. You know this is petty, very petty arguments between people that are around you and that are always around you. It could be work. It could be friends, family, loved ones, and it's like not only is 
him finding love elsewhere, even if it means that he's going around to other and multiple women, or if it just means that he or she is going to find people that they love and care about. This is a genuine thing here. This is celebration, joy. Okay, celebration and joy for finally getting out of that hellhole that his friends could be telling him about. This guy could have girlfriends. This is a genuine thing here, and it's causing these fights. But I think this is why, you know, this is this is more fuel to the fire to get this person going. And this guy, this divine masculine, is going to prevail with all those with this water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. As as water will splash that fire out. Do you understand? Top of the deck, Ace of Wands. I wanted to pull that. Okay, this this sparked a newfound energy and passion, drive and determination to get the hell out of there, but to find your own salvation, to find your own pure potential. And I'm glad that this person did it in any way you want to clarify that three of cups because there's multiple ways. Okay, so if anybody wanted to to, to sabotage something, if a, if a fire sign did or what, you just helped the situation for the divine masculine and for the divine feminine you just helped it because if they were look you just helped it that's all you did top of the deck that's all you did was help these two to remember the passion the love the ambition the the determination for one another that actually came so effortlessly okay so that's all that that did there was um help the divine masculine and help the divine feminine because the divine masculine is going to know love, is going to know passion, is going to know bouncing back, is going to know creating his own on his own for his own. You understand? And not because somebody just can't let him go, not to do this for somebody that's not meant to be with them because it's just karmic from there. Let's, let's clarify the 10 of cups for the divine masculine. 10 of cups for the divine masculine. Okay, so a whole chunk, but the high priestess came out, and we got a whole chunk here, but we're just going to take that one, because that, that's literally like eight cards, but the, the, the high priestess for the ten of cups, do I need to say more? This only helped, if you watched my karmic versus the divine feminine, this has a lot to do with it, go watch all of the parts, four parts, you can't just watch one or in the middle, because that wouldn't help you at all. Okay, so good luck on your end of the journey. But here we are, the divine masculine wanting the high priestess, wanting his, his gifts, wanting what he was made for, okay? Wanting this woman, wanting her help. It's not just dating you, divine feminine, for your subconscious mind. It's not just using you because we're psychiatrists and we can help everyone and we won't judge anyone. This is wanting you and knowing who you are. With the Ten of Cups, harmony, love, not even caring about money being the main aspect, but loving, having children, even joining families together. This is love. And he wants to love you. He's not intimidated by you. That's what you should get from this, from this card, period. Top of the deck is the King of Swords, period, punto com. This guy wants to be with you after. Uh, this, something has to happen here first. We have the Ace of Wands still. Something still has to happen here, okay? Okay. Let's clarify the Two of Pentacles for the Divine Masculine. The Two of Pentacles for the Divine Masculine. Okay. I want to take it because I saw it too. The Devil card. And the top of the deck the four of cups being indecisive being indecisive here wanting you know this love and wanting that you know this did when i was clarifying this this did come as somewhat of a shock to me that after breaking up there and coming on you know moving forward with love that you know you want because you've known this for quite some time now you're back here and you're feeling frazzled a little juggled a little like all over the place but keeping balance keeping b and and you know with that with that taurus virgo capricorn energy remember down to earth feeling secure feeling stable you know in your security but then a little bit borderline kind of crazy here almost almost at the brink and you're wondering why because maybe that tower moment has still some effect on him as it should but there's something there that he that could bring him back down there's something there that could end your relationship there's something there that could end this wanting and being intimidated not so much but then maybe being intimidated later because of all the work because of what he looks like because he's egotistical 
Okay, a lot could come from that, can come from this.